SI senior baseball writer Ben Ryder here, and I'm giving you my top five breakout players for the Major League Baseball season in 2018. First up is Washington Nationals shortstop Trey Turner. Turner played just 98 games last year due to a broken wrist. Check out these numbers. 284 batting average, 11 home runs, and 45 steals. That translates to 18 home runs and 74 steals over 162 games, and now he'll have another year of experience. Look for Trey Turner to have a big year in the nation's capital. Number two on my list, Rafael Devers, just 21 years old, the Red Sox third baseman, in 58 games, 284 batting average, 10 homers, 30 RBIs. Then, in his first postseason series ever against the Astros in the ALDS, he had two homers and five RBIs in just four games. Nothing is overwhelming to this guy. Expect him to be the Red Sox third baseman for the next decade at least, starting this year. Number three on my list, another player who had a short season last year, Greg Bird, the Yankees' 25-year-old first baseman. Everybody's talking for good reason about Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton in the Bronx this year. Well, look what Greg Bird did from the left side of the plate. A lot of his season was ruined because of an ankle injury. But in the 29 games after he came back, he had eight home runs with an 891 OPS. Another source of mega power in the Bronx. Can't forget about pitchers. And the one I'm looking at in particular, Tyler Chatwood of the Cubs. Now, Chatwood played for the Rockies, and we know about the problems for pitchers at Coors Field. What you have to do with him is look at his splits. Last year, he had a 6.01 ERA at Coors Field, but a 3.49 on the road. If there's a high spin rate fastball that touches 99 miles an hour, there's a reason why the Cubs, one of the smartest organizations around, gave him a three-year, $40 million contract. I can assure you, it wasn't that six ERA at Coors Field. But the number one breakout player in baseball, the player that I can't wait to watch this year, Byron Buxton, the twin center fielder. It's taken him a while. He was the number two draft pick in 2012, scuffled in his major league debut, actually struggled all the way through July, when all of a sudden last year, he put it together. After July, he batted 309 with 12 homers after having hit 195 with just four homers before that. He's a 25 homer threat. But more than that, he's already the best single outfielder in baseball and the fastest base runner in baseball. Add together all those tools and you have the makings of a superstar, one who's going to come out of the gates in 2018 looking just like that.